Shalom. Before I start, I want to give our honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Yahweh Kakwadash. Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Bahashem meaning coming in the name. Ba means coming in. Ha means the. Sham means name. Rakab meaning spirit. Kwadash meaning holy. Double honors to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who will well and teach well. Because those are the men who I like this true from through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, preaching forth this word of truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters that's listening to silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Razaka. Pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Do Your Part. Okay, Do Your Part. All right, and um, you know, pretty much this is going to be a lesson about, you know, you being an Israelite man, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, you're to do your part in this truth, okay? Be a helping body in this ministry for Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, the purpose is, you know, of doing, you know, your part is to what? Receive salvation, okay? So you have to, you know, put in the works, you know, and, and, and do your part. And this is pretty much, uh, you know, a lesson for edification purposes and a reminder out there. That's why we are to continue uh, stay in focus, man. Okay, this lines in with continue staying focused. And I got some precepts, quick hitter, on the plantation. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is, uh, uh, I think it's Salakia. First Peter, Second uh, Peter, Salakia. This is. 2 Peter 1 and 10, it says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. All right, and how can you make your calling and election sure? Right? Due diligence, okay? Doing the will of the Lord, you know, being a helping body to this ministry, you know, pre presenting and putting your body up as a living sacrifice, okay? That is, you know, our purpose, you know, as, as being a man of the Lord, because once you come into this truth, okay, you have to do your part. You know, and you have to, you know, do the will of the Lord to the best of your ability. You know, you you may be a brother that may not know a lot of precepts, but, you know, you have a gift that the Lord gave you, and you are to use that gift. Now, if you don't know where your gift is, then you're going to have to find it and learn from it. You know, learn, learn and understand your gift. Okay, you have a gift. You know, different brothers have gifts. Some brothers can be able to do prayers in the Hebrew. Some brothers may, you know, know how to you know break down certain scriptures you know some brothers you know have different gifts okay you have to find and use your gift okay second peter 1 and 10 it says wherefore the rather brother and give diligence to make your calling and election sure so you want to do diligence right it says for if ye do these things ye shall never fall so this is the whole purpose of you being an israelite man if you you know, the Lord draw you into this truth, or right, you are to learn this gospel, learn this ministry, which the gospel means good news. Learn this truth, all right, from the men who have the 100% truth, which who are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Learn from those men, study from those men. You know, if you have a camp in your city, go down and learn from those men. But it's going to come to a time where you're going to have to go and, and, and teach, you know, teach the word, teach what you have learned. You know, you got to teach. And to do the work, you know, uh, you know, do your part for you. How about Shema Shai? Okay, and I got a, um, I got a precept. First Corinthians, fifteen and fifty-eight. First Corinthians, fifteen and fifty-eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unremovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as, for as much as ye you know your labor is not in vain. So do your part. Okay, do your part. Do your part. Get a lesson in. Do a video. You know. Show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. Okay? So, that's the whole purpose in being in the truth is, is doing your part, man. Show the Lord that you are worthy. Okay? You are, uh, you know, doing His will. Because that pleases the Lord. When you when you do, the, do this work, you know, do the Lord's work, you're doing, you know, working out your salvation, doing His will, that pleases the Lord. Okay? The, that really shows the Lord that you really are an honorable servant in His eyes. Right? This is uh, Romans 12 and 1. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Yahweh, 
which is your reasonable service. You see that that is our reasonable service as Israelite men is to do the will of the Lord. Okay, do do the do the works, right? Feed his sheep, as what the Lord said said unto Peter. Peter was commanded to do the Lord's will, right? Yahweh Shai, he was doing the Lord's will, and that's in. Uh, let me get that out. I think this is John. It's four and thirty-four. Yep. This is what Yahushai said, the Messiah. It says, Yahushai said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. So you gotta do the you when you come into this truth and you you know you get the understanding of the basics of the scriptures, you being drawn and weaned from the breast and drawn from the milk, right? Which is in Isaiah, I think it's twenty-eight and nine, right? When you come and getting the basics of the scriptures. Okay, you're learning everything literally all over again. Okay, the correct way is being Israelite men, you're going to do the will of the Lord. Okay, yeah, I'm just giving an example. Yeah, how wish I did the will of the Lord. So when you come into this truth and you step in the presence of the foot of the Lord, who are the prophets, because the Lord is speaking through his men, and you learn the basics of this truth, right? You, you know about the laws, the statutes and commandments, right? You know about keeping the high holy days, keeping the Sabbaths. Right, you you know uh, 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 the dietary law, what foods you already eat, what an what animals you already eat, what animals you're not supposed to eat. You know, you learn the basics of the scriptures. You get the knowing of when the Sabbath is, right? You start learning uh, uh, the customs of being an Israelite, right? Which is your, your your heritage, which is that pure religion. Now you know these things. Now you know the basic breakdowns: who the Israelites are, who salvation is, who's repentance for, who the Lord Yahweh Shai died for. What the heavenly Father's only begotten Son looked like, according to the Scriptures, who they were, who the Messiah came down and died for. These are the breakdowns that you are to teach if you know them. Okay, who's our enemies, right? Because we're set, we're a separate people, right? So we are to do the will of the Lord. Okay, we are to preach this gospel and to do His work, and that's what Yahushai did. This is John four and thirty four. Yahushai saith unto them that my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. So Yahweh Shai, he was about the Heavenly Father's business. He was about the Lord's work, right? The apostles, right? They were about the Lord's work, you know? Let's see if I can get it. Right? This is, uh, yep, let's get it. This is, uh, Beautiful. Yep. This is John 21 and 15. It says, So then they had dined, Yahweh Shai saith to Peter, Simon, said to Simon, Peter, son uh, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, and this is what Yahweh Shai said unto Peter. It says, Yea, is oh this is what uh he said, this is what Peter said unto Yahweh Shai. It says, Yea, it says, He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. See, he said that he loves the Lord, right? And this is what the Lord said unto him. He saith unto him, this is the way Yahweh Shai said unto Peter, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Verse 16, he saith to him again the second time. This is Yahweh Shai speaking unto Peter. It says, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And Peter said unto him, he saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, feed my sheep. So the Lord told him three times to feed his sheep. Verse 17, he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, thou lovest me. Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. So see, the Lord told Peter to, to, to feed his sheep, man. You know, be about the Lord's business. Feed my sheep. Okay, do your part in this truth. Right? Because we are to do the will of do the works. We are to do the will of the Lord, man. Right, so we can earn our place on our on our spot, right? We gotta earn our our spiritual riches, right? Which goes to Matthew six and nineteen. We'll wrap it up with this. I'm on the plantation. Matthew six and nineteen. Lay not up for yourselves the treasures upon the earth. So we don't lay our treasures up upon the earth, right? It says where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. We're not worried about the the worldly the worldly stuff because those physical things can be taken from you. Verse twenty. It says, but lay up. For yourselves treasures in treasures in heaven where moth nor rust do a corrupt and where these break where these break it says where these do not break through and steal for your treasure is there where your heart be also so that's what we focus on we focus on the spiritual riches the spiritual things 
Salakia was interrupted. So I'll read this again. It says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So if your mind is focused on doing the works of this world and gaining the riches of this society, that's not doing the will of the Lord. But if you, but if you focus on the set apart, focus on the things above, you're doing the will of the Lord, earning your spiritual riches, right? You're doing the will of the Lord. You're uh, uh, putting your body up as a living sacrifice. You're do, you're uh, uh, you're striving through diligence, right? You're you're doing the will of the Lord. You're you're doing the works, right? Working out your own salvation, right? Because you have to do that. You have to work your own salvation now, and it's truth. Okay, so you know that's where your treasure is going to be, also. So let me get that uh, second Philippians. I was going to wrap it up with that, but I'll get this. Philippians 2 and 12, right? It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So that's what you want to do. You know, do your part. Work out your own salvation through fear and trembling, man. You want to work out your salvation. Okay, earn your spot of the elect. Okay, because you have to... You have to do your part in this thing. Okay, the Lord called you into this truth. So the moment you're called into this truth, okay, and you get, you know, your spirit gets drawn to this truth. You're to do the works, you know, you know, learn this truth, at least like the elders say, six months. And once you learn six months of this truth, you know, you know the basics of the scriptures, you know, you're to teach what you know. Okay, do the will of the Lord until the end. So hey, Lord willing, this lesson is that a fine? Just wanted to get a quick hit in. On to the next one. Lord willingness, that's the Zeta Fine. Until next time I say, Shalom.